Thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie Wallace. Lynn Brooks and Terry Brewer are on assignment. Topping the news tonight, storm recovery for the community of Holt. It took center stage at today's Tuscaloosa County Commission meeting. Details of tonight's top story. Today, the commission accepted the Holt long-term recovery plan. Tuscaloosa County Probate Judge Hardy McCollum says this plan is FEMA's vision for Holt long-term recovery. The community of Holt was devastated by the April 27th tornado, as we have reported. The plan focuses on rebuilding and redevelopment. McCollum says because projects like the Eastern Bypass and construction on 69 South are coming up, the commission would like Holt to be rebuilt sooner rather than later. Sean Faulkner with Holt in Action says these small steps have a big place in the grand scheme of recovery for Holt. Uh, but this is a long-term plan, and although we're taking short-term steps, we're, we know we're in this for a long, for a long time. Okay, and so if you would like to learn more about the Holton Action Long-Term Recovery Plan, just go to WVUATV.com and click Numbers and Links. The Tuscaloosa Forward Plan is now moving forward. The City Council passed several zoning ordinances related to the ongoing rebuilding efforts Tuesday evening. The plan calls for mixed-use zoning. The City hopes the recovering zones will now be more urbanized, compact, and walkable. Not only will the plan let residents enjoy urban living, but you will also be able to do more with your property than the original regulations allowed. City Councilman Bobby Howard says you can use your property in a more versatile way compared to the older regulations. If you had a business zoning, you'd only could put business there and not residential. Now we have the mixed use where you can have a business on the first floor and then the uh, residential on the second floor. The regulations passed only affect missed mixed-use zones, most of which are near the city's main roadways. The city hopes to pass the residential property regulations before the one-year anniversary of the April 27th tornado. The city of Tuscaloosa is gearing up for another national championship celebration. The celebration is planned for this Saturday in Bryant-Denny Stadium. City leaders say it will be much like the celebration held for the 2009 win. WVUA spoke with Don Staley with the Tuscaloosa Tourism and Sports Commission. He told us they're expecting more fans than the previous celebration, and this national championship will only continue to bring more people into town. This is a vibrant community, and everything that we've gone through from the uh, tornado uh, in, in our recovery efforts, whether it's the volunteerism or the national championship, People, when they hear about Tuscaloosa, they keep hearing great things, and they want to come here. And I, we're already seeing that from the inquiries about bringing sporting events here. Here now is a closer look at the celebration set for this Saturday. It kicks off at 2 p.m. at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Admission is free, and seating will be on a first-come, first-served basis, and gates will open at noon. Organizers say the first 30,000 fans entering the stadium will receive a poster of the championship team. And starting at noon, fans can have a photo taken with the BCS National Championship Trophy in the South End Plaza. In your home team crime watch, you have a chance to help fight crime in West Alabama. Your piece of information could be the missing link investigators need to catch a suspect. Here's this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Hello, my name is Ted Sexton, the Sheriff of Tuscaloosa County. Thanks to your help and WVUA, we have another capture in Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Christopher Miller was arrested on a charge of failure to comply with the Sex Offender Notification Act. He's captured 348. Now we need your help in finding more of Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Kevin Jimmy Salgo is one on a charge of assault in the second degree. He's a black male, 22 years of age, 5'4", 140 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Now he was last known to be living on Indian Creek Road in Duncanville. Samantha Sue Mays, one on charge of assault in the second degree. She's a white female, 30 years of age, 5'1", 125 pounds, blonde hair, and blue eyes. Now she was last known to be living on the 1600 block of Stone Ridge Parkway in Brookwood. Joseph Lee Jones, one on charge of assault in the second degree. He's a black male, 58 years of age, 5'8", 150 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, and was last known to be living on 28th Avenue East in Tuscaloosa. If you have any information on these or other persons wanted by the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, please call us at 205-464-8672 or go to our website at www.tcsoal.org. 
You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And working together, we'll continue to make Tuscaloosa County a safer place to live. After the tragedy from the cruise ship wreck off the Italian coast, local travel agents say people aren't second-guessing taking a cruise. According to the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, the cruise industry is the fastest growing category in the leisure travel market. Local travel agent John Holman says it's important to ask as many questions to make you feel comfortable before setting sail. Holman says when taking a cruise from America, they have safety steps in place to help keep things calm in case something does happen. About a half hour prior to the ship sailing, uh, they see where their life, they find out where their lifeboat's located at, find out who the crew that is that's manning it, and, and then it, it, uh, and they see who else is with them. And so, um, and they know where the lifeboat is in relation to their cabin. Travel agent with Blue Water Travel, CeCe Washington, recommends getting insurance just in case something does happen to make, your, make you change your mind about the cruise. Washington says if you have insurance and change your mind, you can feel good about getting your money back. Coming up in home team weather conditions across the deep south are very quiet but cold today. Big changes in the forecast will talk the weekend weather. Coming up in home team weather, which is next, stay with us. Plus, gastric bypass survey, surgery versus gastric banding. Find out which one researchers say is a better option for maintaining weight loss. And Tuscaloosa's Brad Smelly will put puts his talents on display for NFL coaches in the Senior Bowl. Gary Harris will have details in Alabama's home team sports.